So this is uh, an interesting talk for doing like unit testing with async functions, uh, pre 3.8 and then post 3.8. Um, so this is a simple snippet of code. Uh, really what, what's happening here is um, there's a main function that takes a task as an input uh, and the task basically does hello world and then there's a sleep in between um, and then we run it using the run until complete. Um, but let's say I want to write a test for this function and say, let's say I'm only concerned about the main. I don't really care about the task. I want to pass in like a mock async task and make sure that my main function is working. Um, one option that you have is to use the magic mock. So you might try that. Um, you can pass the mock task as I've initialized on line 14 and then pass it in. As it turns out, this won't work. And the reason is magic mock is a synchronous function. It's not an asynchronous function. Uh, and then you'll get this weird looking error. It'll say that, hey, I cannot await on asynchronous function. Um, and you can actually test this. You can say, hey, magic mock, are you uh, a coroutine? And async IO will say false. Um, so how do we fix this? Uh, there's like two options depending on which version of Python you're on. If you are pre 3.8, there's two options. Number one is this really ugly looking thing that works. Um, so you can actually define like a fake coroutine mock function. Uh, and what you're doing there is you are attaching a coroutine object to a function uh, and making your mock async function behave like a, a, a mock coroutine essentially, and then you return it. So if you want to use something like that, uh, if you look at line 20, what, what I've done is replaced magic mock with this fake coroutine mock, uh, and you can run the test, and this actually works because you're uh, mocking it with an asynchronous function. Um, so that's one option. The second option is to try this library. It's called async test. It's, it has a bunch of features. One of them is uh, an asynchronous uh, mocking object that you can use uh, to replace your functions. Uh, it also has a bunch of other things, so depending on how much bloat you want to add, you might use this particular library. Um, and then finally, uh, it turns out the Python 3 community, core community, recognized this need. And they added uh, an async mock uh, object that you can import from your unit test. So you can literally do something like that. You can say unit test of mock, import async mock. You can initialize an object, and it's actually a coroutine. And if you try to call it, it returns a proper coroutine object now. So you don't need to do any of those funky stuff that we did before. Um, so here, what I'm doing is, I'm on 3.8 now. Uh, I'm importing async mock. Uh, and what I'm doing is, uh, on line 13, uh, the mock object is the async mock object instead of a magic mock. And you can actually run this, and this will work great. Um, other features that Python 3.8 supports as part of all of this uh, additions is you get a bunch of these uh, awaits, just like you have with synchronous functions. So you can do um, assert awaited, assert awaited once uh, with what particular arguments. You can also do like assert counts and stuff like that. So if you want to really make sure that your driver is working as intended, but your mocks are being called accordingly, uh, and you get all of this. Um, you can also mock iterators. So you can do something like, in this case, you can initialize a mock and be like mock.aiter, which is like the magic method, and say return 10, 20, 30, whatever. And then in the main, let's say you're doing an async for, um, it'll actually do the actual mocking for you. And then finally, uh, we also have mocking context managers. So in this case, I have like a test context manager that has an enter and an exit method. All I'm doing is um, mocking that object, and I'm doing an async with, which is an asynchronous uh, context manager call. And then you can assert something like, hey, did my uh, context manager uh, en enter method got called? And did my uh, exit method got called with an await? Uh, and you can test that out. And that's it.